I'm Allison Starling. Through this trying year, ABC7, along with Eastern's Automotive Group, have brought you stories of hope and communities coming together. And along the way, we've tried to help as well. Well, we're taking a look back at some of our most memorable helping hand stories and donations. We start in Prince George's County, which at one point had the highest number of COVID cases in the entire state and record unemployment. Here's how we surprised one food bank on a mission of love. The food bank has been overwhelmed with people arriving to get food for them and their families. They used to serve mostly homeless individuals. Now, CEO Deb Martinez told us they are seeing people who have lost their jobs because of the pandemic and are now struggling to feed their families. They're the everyday working people that live in America that are just asking for a little bit of help. And Mission of Love provides that help. So as part of our Helping Hands initiative, ABC7 and Eastern's Automotive Group hand-selected Mission of Love for a special surprise. Hi, my name is Joel Bassam. I'm from Eastern's Automotive Group, and we've partnered with ABC7 on our Helping Hands segment. And we wanted to highlight all the amazing work you guys are doing at Mission of Love. Prince George's County is incredibly important to us over at Eastern's because it's where we have three of our stores. And it's amazing the way you've adapted to the crisis and continue to serve the community that needs so much help. We want to continue to support you guys by donating $2,500 today and to help you continue to share the love and spread the love in our community. Thank you for all that you do. I've always wanted to be able to hold that. Oh. <laughs> thank you. And what do you think? We deeply thank Eastern Motors. That will really, really help us in our plight to help this community. Muchas gracias. It makes a cloudy day, the sunshine for us. It makes us a little less stressful because we hate to tell people we don't have anything. Thank you, Eastern Automotive Group. Then there was Tony Gonzalez. He was furloughed from his job at the Salvation Army, and he still volunteered there every single day, working during the pandemic to help those who needed him, even when they couldn't pay him. That's why he was awarded a $2,000 check from Eastern's Automotive. Because God has done so much for me. You know, the Salvation Army has done so much for me. You know, this is amazing. That's all, I, I, that's all I can say. It has been a challenging year for so many families as well who are doing distance learning, many not having what they need at home to make it work. For this segment, right before school started, Kid O'Shea, with the help of Eastern's Automotive Group, helped surprise some families in Lana with a very important gift live on our air. I'm nervous as I am behind three families here from Prince George's County that are about to receive something that is under that table right over there. They have no idea why they're here. However, they did know they were going to be on live TV. Let me introduce some very important people to you. This is Dr. Gillens, who's the principal here at Magnolia Elementary. Tell us about your wonderful school. Our wonderful school, we have pre-kindergarten through sixth grade here at Magnolia, approximately 540 absolutely phenomenal scholars, and we are always engaged in learning, and we just have the best students ever. This is going to be a different year than anyone's ever experienced. How excited are you to get back to school? Well, I'm extremely excited to get back to school. I'm going to miss the pitter-patter of little feet in the hallways and going to my classrooms every single morning and talking to my children. But I am very grateful that we have, are going to be having virtual learning in Prince George's County Public Schools. And we're going to be able to not meet with our children face-to-face, -face, but we're going to be able to interact, interact with them um, virtually. So that's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I want to bring in Barbara with Prince George's County County public schools. Tell us about some of the challenges as we enter this new school year that families are going to be facing. Sure. With over 130,000 students, we are excited of the virtual learning, but we know their challenges. As a partnership officer, one of my role is, along with working the executive staff, is to get partners to help us. Our goal is to have all of our students have some form of technology device, a Chromebook, laptop, iPad. That's the major challenge because we want our children to be prepared August the 31st. So working with our corporate partners and faith-based leaders, they are stepping up to assist us, as well as having internet access service also. 
Well, let's take a look at the families one more time here that are waiting patiently as we talk about some of the challenges as we enter the new school year here. And ABC7 Helping Hands, along with Eastern's Automotive Group, have a very special surprise for all of you right now. In fact, we're going to turn to some of the staff here at Magnolia Elementary School to reveal what is under the, that table right now. Take it away, guys. There you go. Those are all for you. Every single one of you getting your very own computer. And I want to bring in Malik for a second here. Malik, let's talk about um, some challenges that you faced. I hear that you've been putting in homework assignments at 1 o'clock in the morning just because there's not enough computer time. Yeah, I had to just actually had to just do it with my after my brother because we it's us three, me, him, and my little brother. We have to go on the computer, do whatever we have to do in a certain time limit, and then we have to hope that we actually did it correctly so we can get a good grade. What's this going to mean for you to have your own computer? I can have as much time as I can. Do as well. Congratulations. What a great surprise. Well, now digging in the dirt to help raise money to fight pediatric cancer. That was just one reason why the American Cancer Society was featured as a Helping Hands recipient back in September. Here's Caroline Patrikas. Do you like to play in the dirt? Yeah. You do? I play in the dirt, Daddy. Mm -hmm. When children ask you if they can play in the dirt, normally the answer is no. But now, parents and children are being encouraged to get down and dirty to help raise money to fight pediatric cancer. Um, I lost my dad in April uh, due to cancer-related um, events. Shaylin is now honoring her father, so this cause is close to her heart. I think it'd be exciting for her to win, but just, you know, we've set um, fundraising goals, and I think we've set five different ones that have already beat them. So just being able to beat that's exciting. The Little Dig is a virtual competition where kids take pictures playing in the dirt and raise money to fight pediatric cancer. Riley has already raised $1,600. We already have 12 kids signed up. We've raised a little more than $6,500, um, and it's just been a lot of fun. As part of ABC 7's Helping Hands partnership with Eastern's Automotive Group, we surprised Tiswana Sewell with the American Cancer Society. Press play. Hey there. Wanted to surprise you with continuing our partnership with The Little Dig, getting ready for next year's Big Dig by committing $200 to every one of our fundraisers throughout the rest of this. So all the existing people who have already joined and all those who will join. So $200 across the board. Hopefully we can get more people sharing photos of their kids getting dirty and raise money for pedi pediatric cancer. That's fantastic. I just really want to thank Joel for fighting back uh, with the American Cancer Society, for coming up with the idea for a Little Dig, and then putting some real resources behind it. It's going to make a true impact on the fight against pediatric cancer. So Joel, thank you so much. Caroline Patrikas, ABC 7 News. The need for necessities like food and diapers has more than doubled for one Fairfax County food pantry during the pandemic. ABC 7's Jake Korf did a moving story over the summer as we surprised United Community, the nonprofit, helping those in need. We haven't had one of these in a long time. Thank you. Holy cow. This is great. The joy for Allison DeCourcy and Yolanda Earl Thompson that comes from finding out your tireless efforts to feed the hungry were rewarded in the most unexpected way. Led to a flood of emotions this week at United Communities Food Pantry in Alexandria. This to me shows us that we are on the road to change. Last week, we introduced you to their story. Miss Yolanda, as everyone calls her, volunteers for United Community. This nonprofit runs a food bank along the Richmond Highway Corridor. Their surrounding community among the hardest hit by COVID-19 and the economic hardships that followed. We faced an incredible demand curve. Executive oh. Director Allison DeCourcy says their numbers in terms of needs skyrocketed 300% from May of last year to this year. While they supply food out of their brick and mortar location, they recently went mobile, delivering meals in neighborhoods. Miss Yolanda gets food from United Community and sets up shop in her front yard, personally making sure those in need get help. She says after our story aired, 
Donations poured in. Over a thousand dollars worth of financial donations, let alone boxes and boxes of diapers and household items and food. The feedback has been tremendous. Their story also got the attention of ABC 7's Helping Hands program, which is sponsored by Eastern's Automotive Group. We want to donate $2,500 to continue your effort to feed the greater Alexandria area and recognize all the amazing work that you've been doing throughout this crisis and will continue to do once we're through this. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you so much to Eastern. This is amazing. $2,500 is feeding thousands of people. This is proof that we're, we're gonna rise. We're gonna get better. This is not just for a moment. This is forever. I'm Jay Korf. For ABC 7 News. Still ahead, one of our favorite surprises of the entire year. See what happened when Kid O'Shea snuck up on the head of Chevrolet's emergency response. Plus. I still have a roof over my head. I still have food in my belly. His small business shut down during the pandemic, but that didn't keep this DC man from taking on a new mission of helping others. And welcome back. So one of our favorite surprises was for the head of the Chevrolet emergency response nominated by the mayor of Chevrolet. Here's Kid O'Shea again with a surprise from September. Tell us a little bit why you nominated Mar uh, Marverly. Because she really epitomizes what our community stands for. We say this is what community does for each other. So identifying a need, stepping up to make it good, gathering a team, letting that team be part of every part of the solution. That's what leadership is. There's and a really shows that there's a food drive going on right now behind us. Um, and it's been going on for the past six months biweekly. When she started this back up, what was your response? My response was go for it. This is pretty extraordinary. And what they've shown as far as the commitment, sometimes people step forward, do something and decide, oh, this is hard work. We're not going to stick with. But she stuck with and she drew others in to stick with to make sure that our community has what it needs and that our community is involved in giving back to each other. This community has gone through some tough times, not just COVID. We have. We, this past um, September 10th on Thursday, we were hit with severe flash flooding. We're reaching out to the county and the state for support. We have wonderful elected officials beyond our town that are stepping forward to help, but people are in incredible need. And so that then became, let's help those in community and those hit hardest by this disaster. All right, let's go surprise Marverly right now. Let's do that. And let her know that she's got a nice little surprise here for all the work that she's been doing uh, right here in the community. And some of the people here, their homes were affected by those floods. Yes, in fact, um, a Chevrolet United Methodist Church made kits, cleanup kits, and that's part of what we're handing out right now. I think she sees us. Is Marvely here? Marvely! Come on over. You're on live TV. <laughs> Did you know we were coming? No, I didn't know. I'm Kid O'Shea from ABC7 News. You're actually live on TV right now. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Mayor Layla has just been telling us about the incredible work that you've been doing in this community. Why did you get come start doing all this? Well, I've been volunteering and doing community service since I was a teenager. Um, when I got to this community, I pretty much got involved. This is a great community to get involved in. They have they're so welcoming. There's so many organizations you can be a part of and start. And uh, today, I'm so grateful for the CERT team that put everything together. Um, we've been very active since the pandemic happened. So this has been awesome. Like, everyone, thank you all. <laughs> On behalf of ABC 7's Helping Hands and Eastern Automotive Group, we'd like to give you a $2,000 check. <laughs> to continue helping out with your relief efforts. Thank you so much. This is great. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Well, coming up after the break, meet Leroy Finner, who got some extra help getting back on his feet. But he wasn't the only one who got a helping hand. The double surprise coming up next. A group in Northern Virginia has been helping empower girls in our community, and now it has expanded to help more families by providing food. 
The group was surprised with a special award from ABC7 and Eastern's Automotive Group. Here's ABC7's Kid O'Shea. Hello, my name is Renee Gorman and I'm the founder of She Believes in Me. So She Believes in Me is a grassroots nonprofit that we started to help support the emotional well-being of girls. Right, so As an elementary school counselor, Renee uses her time away from school to provide additional help and resources for the girls in the program. The school supports the children to the greatest capacity they can. They need more when the school doors close, and uh, that's the time when I thought I could bring in the community to volunteer and support and mentor these girls to a greater capacity. Last December, She Believes in Me held one of their biggest events, a different time when everyone could come together. We would have events monthly that supported life skills for the girls, whether it be relationship skills, self-esteem, mental health, well-being, physical health, well-being, um, talking about the, their inner beauty. When COVID hit, Renee's mission shifted. It was very unsettling for us to how we were going to meet, meet these girls. So we decided, um, starting out of my home, by putting together some emotional support activities, putting together packets with food, um, snacks, and activities. We quickly learned that um, there was a need for more resources sources in the community. Her new mission quickly grew from her living room to the garage to their current location, Florist United Methodist Church in Herndon. So the church approached us primarily. Um, the pastor's wife was one of our major volunteers, so she said, you need more space. To date, they've supplied food and household items to over 6,000 families and serve about 50 families a week. Um, we've had tears in people's eyes when they've been delivered to groceries. One child actually said, um, were you sent by God? It was Renee's husband, Victor, that nominated her for ABC 7's Helping Hand. She is dedicated to the She Believes in Me. Uh, prior to starting She Believes in Me, she kept thinking of what she can do to help what she can do to help, and she came up with this wonderful idea. Then the moment Renee wasn't expecting. We want to reward you for the work that you've been doing, and on behalf of Eastern's Automotive Group, uh, we have a check there for $1,500 oh <laughs> that we want to give to your organization. I'm speechless. Well. <laughs> uh, those are the heroes up there, so thank you, ladies. Thank you. Hi, Mrs. Gorman. I wanted to acknowledge all the amazing work that you're doing in your community and supporting these young, strong, beautiful women. We're going to donate $1,500 to your amazing cause to continue to support She Believes in Me. Wow. Yay to you. Yay to you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And we love seeing all those smiles. A local man finally found a home thanks to an organization that's working to make sure people don't go hungry. We first introduced you to him back in the spring. Tobias Rodriguez shows us the surprise for the aspiring artist and for Miriam's Kitchen. I'm still trying to get used to having, like I told you last time, getting used to having water. <laughs> so I had to get used to living and, and being in a home. When we introduced you to Leroy Fenner three weeks ago, he had just found a home after being homeless for two years. Miriam's Kitchen, an organization that works to end homelessness in D.C., helped him get off the streets. Now Fenner is showing his new home to a dear friend, the chef at Miriam's, Cheryl Bell. Well, I'm working through the pandemic so that I can make sure that the people that don't have can have things and make it to this point. Fenner was in for a surprise when Joel Bassam from Eastern's Automotive Group arrived at his home with something that would make his day even better. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm Joel from Eastern's and we were touched by your story and wanted to continue to support your growth by donating a thousand dollars to keep you on your feet and keep you on this amazing journey. Thank you so You're much. So I appreciate it. Thank also, you. Bassam couldn't leave out Miriam's kitchen. A check of one thousand dollars for each. Wow. As part of the Eastern's Automotive Group sponsored ABC7 Helping Hands program. I wanted to help both you guys out. Thank oh, you. thank you so much. You're so That's such a blessing. You get all of this love and just nice, especially in the midst of what's going on in the world. We're just honored to be, have the opportunity to give back to a community that's given so much to us. Uh, you know, we've been in business for over 30 years and we like to say giving back isn't a choice, it's in our DNA. Thank you. Bell whips up breakfast and dinner for the homeless Monday through Friday. Fish cakes. She says $1,000 could pay for 1,200 meals at Miriam's. It also provides supplies, art supplies for people like Leroy. It supplies our outreach team to be able to provide meals out on the street. As Bell cooks and cares for those still in need of a home. It takes time to finesse. Leroy says this money could help him further his passion for painting. I want to go into school, art school. I want to become a real artist so 
this is just another step of me getting blessings. You guys can't see it right now, but I have the biggest smile. I'm just in awe. So I really, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Reporting in the district, Tobias Rodriguez, ABC 7 News. Well, still to come, first he helped his community with a coat drive, then it was providing food. Next, see his great reaction when he was surprised with a helping hand in the form of a big check. Our last Helping Hands look back is about a D.C. man who lost his job and didn't let that stop him from helping others. ABC 7's Caroline Patrikas has the surprise. I asked for a lot of vegetarian options. Pasta is really good, tomato sauce, simple meals. When we first told you about Tree Trent, the small business owner who lost his job during the pandemic, he turned trying times into relief for others. I still have a roof over my head. I still have food in my belly. I was just brainstorming and that sparked the coat drive. So he first donated hundreds of coats to anyone in need and then opened DC's first 24 seven food pantry. The motto is, you know, take what you need, leave what you can. So I feel like during right now, like so many people are newly unemployed, right? They, this this is the first time not having a job, not having an income. So like for them, maybe standing in the food line. His mission went so well, he decided to launch a nonprofit and continue his journey in the hopes of opening more across the district. As part of ABC 7's Helping Hands partnership with Eastern's Automotive, we surprised Trin with a gift that will help. I have a little video that I want you to watch. Hi, Tree. We've heard about your story and been completely blown away by what you've been able to achieve just all on your own. Helping individuals with no questions asked is really admirable and something that we want to highlight on this Helping Hands special and also want to help you helping others by giving you $1,500 to support yourself so you can continue to support your community. I've been just shocked and, and blown away by what you've been able to achieve. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you so much. This will help us uh, fill the pantry for three full weeks. In Northeast, Caroline Patrikis, ABC 7 News. And thank you to all of the people we profiled in our Helping Hands segments. And there are a lot more you can see on our website, WJLA.com. Their sense of community and helping others has made a huge difference this year. And we're not done yet. If you know someone or a group who needs an ABC 7 Helping Hand, tell us their story. Just go to WJLA.com slash Helping Hands. And thank you for watching. I'm Allison Starling.